she has lots of sympathy from us all. And um, yes, it was just shocking. She should never have been put in a situation where she had to speak out like that. She should be allowed some privacy. We're very fond of Kate. We think she's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, so, but we wish her the best. That was people in Windsor expressing their support for Princess Catherine after the Princess of Wales bravely revealed to the world she's battling cancer. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London. And at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. The social media speculation over Princess Kate has been replaced with messages of love and sympathy. World leaders, including US President Joe Biden and French President Emmanuel Macron, have paid tribute to Princess Catherine. Joe Biden posted on X, Jill and I join millions around the world in praying for your full recovery, Princess Kate. Canadian President Justin Trudeau wrote, my thoughts are with the Princess of Wales, her children and the entire royal family following the news of her cancer so courageously shared. But as well as messages of sympathy and support, the internet is also being flooded with apologies. Celebrities are among many who are taking ownership for their part in contributing to speculation. And they're saying sorry to Princess Catherine for engaging in the internet hysteria. Actress Blake Lively wrote, I made a silly post around the Photoshop fails, frenzy, and oh man, that post has me mortified today. I'm sorry. Sending love and well wishes to all, always. The Prince and Princess of Wales say they're touched by the messages of support they've received. Kensington Palace released a statement saying, The Prince and Princess of Wales are both enormously touched by the kind messages from people here in the UK, across the Commonwealth and around the world. They're extremely moved by the public's warmth and support and are grateful for the understanding of their request for privacy at this time. King Charles's nephew, Peter Phillips, has told Sky News Australia in an exclusive interview the public response has been heartening. Now, I just want to briefly touch on the Princess of Wales about her health, that there is a very private and family matter, but on the wider um, matter of uh, public support, that must be very heartening for the family more broadly. No, 100%, and I think for for her and for the uh, and for the king, the, the outpouring of, of, of support for both of them and well wishes for the, both of them to to recover um, quickly has been um, has been hugely heartening. Um, she is a um, she's remarkable in herself. She's um, you know without without any question she is um, you know her and William make a fantastic team together. Um, the kids, are, their kids are great, and and they have a, they have the balance of of public life and trying to be parents to to three young children, which is is always difficult. Um, and I think they have they have they've they've got it pretty right because you know I think as um, history has taught us, and anyone knows that you know actually you want to be there for your children when they are. Um, where of a certain age you want to be able to go and drop them off at school and pick them up from school and go and watch matches and be part of their their school lives and you know and I think that balance of doing the family life and and also the public life you know I think they they're, they're they've, they've pretty much got that that bang on and I suppose when you are in the public eye all the time that that is a challenge in itself 
those family moments and those quiet times and, and even when the, the, the broader family gets together, uh, that must be such an incredibly important part. Uh, it is, um, completely, and, and we're, we're very lucky that, um, you know, whilst we probably don't see as much of each other as we, we would like to, as you say, when we are together, it is it's a very, um, it's, it's a very important time. And it's not just, you know, it's not just for us as cousins, but it's also for all of our children to be together. It was, you know, when my grandparents were alive, it's about them being able to spend time with their great-grandchildren. Um, and so, you know, these, these times are important. And, you know, as certainly, you know, when you look at it from my grandparents' perspective, the older they got, the more time you made for to be able to go and see them and allow your their great grandchildren to spend time with them because you know it's a pretty unique, uh, pretty unique situation that that any child can spend time with their great great grandparents. So you know, family time together is 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 so important, um, and it just str strengthens that strengthens that bond of, of support that everybody needs and um, and certainly in, in, in tough times is really important. Well look we wish uh, the Princess of Wales and, and the King to a speedy recovery and we hope very much that you enjoy the rest of your trip to Australia and that you're back soon and Peter thank you so much for your time with us today. Thank you.